This is a short presentation about proposals, but also proposal logic. At its most basic, proposal logic is the process of defining a problem and then coming up and responding with solutions. Now, as a genre, the proposal depends upon a number of social factors, and that's in that way, it's just like every other genre. Burke and Cotter and Huck and say about genres that they dynamically embody a community's way of, ways of knowing, being, and acting. This means that uh, proposals are typical in situations where the same ways of knowing, being, and acting are reiterated. So, um, Charles Bazerman notes that the work of genre is to mediate, to come between, social situations and the texts that respond to those situations. So he says of genres that they are not just forms, but rather they are forms of life, ways of being, and they are forms, frames for social action. So if that's the case, then what are the specific um, social actions that proposals take up and how does the proposal genre help us do that? Let's look a little bit at the situations that call for proposals. Uh, there are specific kinds of circumstances where proposals are called for. Often institutions and agencies have already identified a need or a problem and then they request proposals so that they can evaluate uh, them and then select from them. Social situations that call for proposals are situations where there is a defined need or problem and then requests for proposals come out uh, either explicitly or implicitly, the need or the problem calls for a solution. And the proposal itself is the, the uptake or the taking up of the call or request. So to do that, the, the proposal must identify the problem if it hasn't already been identified or else it reframes the problem or restates it. The proposal must offer a solution to the problem or an action that will meet or answer the specified need. The proposal offers details as to why the solution or why the solution is feasible or appropriate. It may also take up other possible solutions and show why the proposed solution is the best. And finally, it may anticipate possible obstacles and how the proposal will meet them. Sometimes people pick up the logical form of the proposal using the features that we've just identified in order to make a particular kind of argument, the kind of argument that identifies a problem and proposes a solution to the problem. In this case, the proposal is not a specific reply to a specific call. Rather, it is taking up that kind of logic in order to make that type of argument. As you think about writing a proposal, Imagine the possible audiences for the proposal. Who has identified a similar problem to the one you're dealing with? Has an agency or an institution or perhaps a nonprofit organization that you're aware of done the work of investigating the same or a related problem? What are the other what are the kinds of proposed solutions of, to the problem that you're seeing as you do your research? Could other writers' proposals help you to shape your own proposal? And can other writers' problem definitions help you define the problem that you're working with? And finally, what's a fitting response? Again, who is talking about this problem and how are they defining it? What mediums and modes are they using? And what means of distribution?